Good morning. Good morning, Professor. Okay, right. Uh, today's session is on human resource planning. I hope you are, you are fine, keeping well. And if you want to ask some questions or any questions, you can ask, no problem. You can disturb me. Or you can use the chat box. Right. Uh, human resource planning. When <clears throat> you were learning general human resource management, so you uh, read, you studied uh, this chapter five, human resource planning, chapter five of the manual, HRM manual. So you, you have learned uh, these things, defining human resource planning, then explaining why human resource planning is important for an organization, then figuring out the human resource planning process, and then describing nine causes of future human resource demand and detail estimating human resource supply, especially yeah, particularly uh, internal human resource supply. Then learning strategies in shortage conditions of human resources and strategies in surplus conditions of human resources. So you can remember this not, I hope. Okay, so <clears throat> then you have to refresh, you have to refresh, uh, revisit the same knot and then try to learn it. But anyhow, uh, I uploaded the entire chapter of, uh, uh, yes, entire chapter on human resource management uh, from the book, which I have recommended human resource management personnel. So therefore, entire chapter you got, so then you are supposed to learn the entire chapter. Right. <clears throat> so then for today's session, these are the objectives. Again, you know, you have to understand five steps involving human resource planning process, and then explain nine factors, even some other factors I will show you. I will tell you. And then seven techniques of human resource forecasting. Seven techniques. Then know how to construct a staffing table, a management inventory, a replacement chart, a replacement summary, and a table of net employee requirements. So these are the things or tools which are useful for human resource planning. So you are supposed to know, and then of course you are supposed to uh, develop. I mean, you are supposed to develop your skills relating to constructing staffing tables, management inventories, replacement charts, replacement summaries, and tables of net employee requirements. Then identify strategies to be taken for surplus conditions and shortage conditions, you know, some new things. And then know five principles of human resource planning. So I have not changed uh, the, <clears throat> the same teaching that I did for human resource planning under general lecturing. No need to give again different definitions, then you may get confused. So therefore you are supposed to, because this is a specialized course, you are supposed to learn specifically the relevant things of the topic, in addition to that general understanding that you have received when you are reading for general HRM course. Human resource uh, <coughs> planning, so this is the definition, you know, that's the process of determining future employee needs. So we have to determine future employee needs because planning is for the future. We can't do planning for the past. We can't do planning for the present. We will have to do planning for the future. Therefore, 
future employee needs, we have to determine, and then we have to decide steps or strategies to achieve those needs for the purpose of accomplishing organizational goals and objectives. The finally, we want to achieve organizational goals. So in order to achieve organizational goals, there are certain things that we have to do as managers. So assuming that we are managers in a particular organization, and then one thing that we have to do is to determine future employee needs and deciding steps or strategies to achieve those future employee needs. In other words, we will have to estimate our future demand of human resources, so employees. And then we have to decide strategies to meet that estimated or forecast demand. Okay, so you know that that's a charging function, focusing on providing the organization with an educate manpower, educate uh, employee power in order to achieve goals, objectives of the organization. Okay, manpower or employee power. Employee power, because we have females, right? Main objective of human resource planning. Uh, that is to prepare the organization to acquire the more appropriate employees. If not the most, we should try to acquire the most appropriate employees, but if not, then the more appropriate employees, then at least appropriate employees. On the more appropriate jobs, at the more appropriate times, so that overall organizational goals are achieved. So in simple, in simple, we have to get the right people. We have to get the right people for right jobs at the right time. You know, if I say further, in the right way. So we have, to, we have to get the right employees for the right jobs at the right times in the right ways. Okay, so don't forget that. So then, <clears throat> so if you have wrong people, uh, that is a defect of human resource pain. Of course, there is recruitment, there is selection. Uh, they are also responsible for having wrong people. Right. So then the importance, the same uh, reasons I am highlighting, same reasons. Or uh, these you know, five reasons I have discussed. And then you know, when I was teaching General Echare, so the same reasons you have to refresh and if you like you can add another one or two reasons no problem right so these reasons are we can consider as purposes also the first one to determine future employee needs this is an essential thing at least for the next year how many employees what type of employees do we need and how many employees for those types, we need, we have to determine. That determination cannot be done if you don't do human resource planning. Then of course, the second one to utilize human resources more efficiently and effectively. You now we want to, <clears throat> so the full detail, you know, you have this, uh, yes, this one, <clears throat> full detail you got, Uh, yes, they are in the chapter. Okay, they are in the chapter. So therefore, uh, please uh, refer to them. Right. Uh, the relevant, yes. Re refer to the chapter, yes. Right, then more efficiently and effectively. You know, the efficient meaning, meaning of efficient utilization, you know, that means we should not waste time of employees, we should not waste energy of employees, we should not waste money. Uh, then 
No? So then effectively means we have to use all the human resources, employees, in order to achieve goals of the organization. If there are employees who are not utilized to achieve goals of the organization, then there's no effective utilization. Effective utilization. So therefore, at the right time, we have to get the right people for the right jobs. Then, you know, we will be able to utilize human resources more efficiently and effectively. You know, we should not, you know, uh, we should not have shortages and surpluses of employees. Then to control employee cost, you know, if there are shortages, then especially if there are surpluses, then the organization, you know, will have to incur expenditure, which is unnecessary, which is not needed. Assume the organization genuinely wants 100 employees, but if the organization has 110 employees, then 10 employees are not needed. They are in excess. But for them, you know, salaries, rewards, welfare facilities, all other things you know, will have to be you know, uh, spent by the organization. That is definitely costly. One of the objectives of HRM is to control employee cost. Of course, where necessary, we have to cost. We have to expend it, we have to spend. We have to spend. But we are not necessary, we should not spend money. No, we should not spend unnecessarily. Also, we should not spend uh, <clears throat> Scale. I mean, uh, if we are supposed to, you know, spend hundred rupees, then we have to do that. We should not spend uh, ninety or eighty. That is also not good. Also, if you are supposed to spend hundred, if you are going to spend more than hundred, that is also not good. Then to develop high talent employees. To develop high talent employees. I think you can, I hope you can describe the meaning of this purpose. You know, high talent employees, especially managers, professional employees, suddenly you know we can't develop them. There's a lead time. There, you know, to acquire such people and then to educate such people in order to get you know jobs of higher ranks, higher responsibilities higher responsibilities. Simply think of management trainees, management trainees. So after two years you know, from today, we will have to have uh, 10 new management trainees. I mean, 10 assistant managers, not management trainees, 10 assistant managers. Okay, so 10 assistant managers, then, <clears throat> so, 10 assistant managers after two years. After, after two years, so assume we need. And then from today, if you do human resource planning, you will be able to make arrangements to hire 10 management trainees. 10 <clears throat> management trainees. But if you if you have you know <clears throat> like uh, uh, ten percent turnover rate, ten percent turnover rate, and then instead of ten management trainees, eleven management trainees, we can hire. Assuming that you know one will leave one day, right? Then hopefully we will be able to finally you know when we reach the need in time. The need in time that is after two years, then hopefully we'll be able to have 10 people. 10 people who are management trainees and who will be ready to work as assistant managers. Assistant managers. Okay, to do this, you know, we have to do human resource planning. Otherwise, if you don't do human resource planning, then we don't do anything. And then after two years, when we will 
have to face the need of having 10 assistant managers, then we are going to make arrangements to hire 10 management trainees and then deal with uh, relevant matters like training, developing, all these. And then it will be costly. It will be costly. And then because management trainees you know, can't work as men, assistant managers, there's a certain time, you know, which is needed by those management trainees uh, to get relevant competencies, exposure to the organization, to work as a system manager. All right, then the number five, to formulate and implement strategic plans. Can you remember strategic plans? They are long-term plans. You know, long-term decisions are in the strategic plans, like starting a new business, starting a new factory, you now starting, uh, yes, two or three branches in two or three uh, countries doing international business. Uh, those decisions are usually in the strategic plans. They are long-term decisions. So then, for example, if we have a plan to start a new factory after two years, so that means uh, in 2025, as you, by the beginning of 2025, we have a plan to start a factory, new factory. And uh, then we, have, we, we will have to man or we will have to staff that factory. Then from today, we can take actions to find out such people and then train such people. Right, to formulate and implement strategic plans. So formulation means, you know, preparing strategic plans. We, we, when we prepare, you know, assume, you know, when we think of starting a strategic, okay, starting a new factory, we will check, you know, estimate whether we have, you know, relevant people, right people within us. Also, uh, within two years, whether we'll be able to hire right people to run the new factory, whether it is feasible, you know, in terms of human resources. You know, we have to check whether any plan, you know, is feasible in terms of human resources. Uh, human resources swasing a pulwan the bend the king the negra feasibility. Kalahiba. Minister Netan Karanda Ben. Daraki Rabidamugo the Ektara Kale Aktibuna Ape Vishidyale Achar Upadi Patangani me or Sakave Aktibun. Go the Niama Vishidyale, Jatian Ravas in Piligan Vishidyale Aknam, Achar Upadi in Dindo, Achar Upadi Pilinaman. Mulikupadia Nidanga Bible again, or the Itamadra Yagadina, or Pascha, Bona Pascha to Padia, but the Master's degree. For a Master's degree, Nutrak Madi. There was a doctorate degrees then, or a Totama in Yama University. For a Kale, a big plan, Nagatibunama, human resources was in feasible Lunay and Amaka, the doctorate level, like a research grand, research supervision grand. Ajaro Rapiti in a in his feasible lune, Kale Giat Pasitamai, a feasible lune, with a bit Ajaro Ruan of PhD. Wagam research Karapu Acharo Ruan, research current. Even a two PhD program, Patangaragan, two and the bay. In his formulate Karnavata, Tadagatina, implement Karnavata. Okay, all right. Okay, then discuss why some Sri Lankan organizations do not do human resource planning. This also, so I have discussed, so you can remember. So these are the uh, answers, you know, lack of understanding about the purposes, the non-availability of expert in HR, the attitude, you know, that doing human resource planning is unnecessary for organizations in a country like Sri Lanka, as it has high rate of unemployment, Udaka, Rakia, and two innovative Tagala advertisement at the Abugama Monagara Katia, you know, Ekilaitan, Tota Ema was talking to Mogada Pimansi in a plan character. Or would that they got Tuna Kabura Mansi? 
ඕන තරම් මිනිස්සු ඉන්නවා ගන්න ඕන වෙලාව. ඒක ඇත්ත වශයෙන්ම සමහර අර සත්‍ය වෙනවා. සමහර රැකියා සඳහා නෝ සමහර රැකියා සඳහා සත්‍ය වෙන්නේ. For some jobs you know this is true. But for some jobs this is not true. Especially technical jobs, managerial jobs, there are no many employees available in the market who are jobless. Especially right people. So therefore you have to do planning. And have, <clears throat> even though you know there's a high rate of unemployment, we should definitely know how many people, what type of people will be needed for the next year, for the next two years, for the next three years, for the next five years. So therefore, we have to do human resource planning. Then day-to-day -day basis, you know. So some organizations they do human resource planning. You know, according to human resource needs, which arise on day-to-day basis, someone a mass ekita sati ekita human resource plan ne akter. Informally they do karan. Informally they do. Okay, all right. So then, the habit of doing oh, yes, this one informally right. This one, you know, both both are related, but two different reasons. The mitan kya ne? You know, according to human resource needs, which arise on day-to-day -day basis, then formally also we can do that. Day-to-day -day basis, you know, human resources which arise on day-to-day -day basis. For that, we can do formally also. Formally, we can prepare a plan for uh, next week or next two weeks or next month. But informally means, you know, ad hocly we do, and then there's no written document. Right. Okay. Uh, actually, we are learning formal human resource plan. Right. This human resource planning process. Now again, we are going to refresh. We are going to refresh what we have learned, and then short term, medium term, and long term. There are three time horizons. Short term normally up to one year or less than one year. The medium term more than one year up to three years. The long term more than three years. That's a normal definition, but uh, you know another author may consider, or another expert may consider long term, you know, as the time period, you know, for more than uh, five years, more than five years. The medium term means, yes, uh, more than one year up to five years. Short term normally yes, one year or less than one year. Right, so this is the process that you have learned. Okay, all right. So again, refresh your knowledge, forecast future demand for human resources, then estimate HR supply, then compare forecast demand with estimated supply. Then this, you know, no. Uh, net employee requirements and then decide the strategies to be taken. Strategies for shortages, strategies for surpluses. And finally, assess the success of human resource planning process or planning effort. You know, so far, you know, what we have done. Right. Okay, then feedback is there. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Forecasting. Demand for human resources. Demand for the product. That is one of the most important factors which determine you know, future demand for human resources. Demand for the product. When it gets increased, the demand for employees also will get increased. Right, that you can understand in the strategic plans of the organization. Then production methods, you know, technology. Here they now the, especially we usually use the term, you know, technology. Technology, the way of, you know, producing the production method. If it is uh, labor intensive, then we will have to have relatively a higher number of employees. If it is capital intensive, the lesser number of employees. Also currently assume we are following labor intensive method, then if you are going to 
move from labor intensive to capital in intensive, uh, then that decision will decrease definitely future demand for human resources. Assume we, there are 10 people, you know, working as production employees. We are going to buy a new machine uh, that can do uh, the work of, you know, 10 employees. Uh, then we don't need uh, 10 production employees, but to operate the machine, assume we need one person or maybe maximum two people. Uh, then eight production employees we don't need are reducing the number of production employees. The retirements, you know, that will reduce, that will increase, of course, future demand. The resignations, that will increase future demand. The deaths, of course, uh, that will increase future demand for human resources. The leaves of absent, temporarily, that will increase the demand for human resources. Why do employees take leaves of absent? Because of you know, delivering babies in case of women, female employees. Then uh, some female employees, some male employees, they go abroad for studies, for master's degrees, for doctoral degrees, they go. And they will, you know, it will take, you know, two years, even five years, four years. Uh, during that time, you know, the relevant employees will be absent. And then Temporarily, you know, there's a demand for human resources. Right. The terminations, of course, are skirin. A skirin is that will increase future demand for human resources. Then external factors, you know, such as economic, social, political forces. Okay, now tell me at least, you know, think of one uh, social factor. Now one social factor. Think of one social factor. Think of one political factor. Now you see what is happening in Sri Lanka. Now you know there's a political crisis at this moment. Also, there is an economic crisis at this moment. And then because of political crisis, you know what will happen to the demand for human resources? You know, first, you know, the political, okay, political price, the political price you know, will affect what? Will, 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 will affect negatively the demand, demand for the product, demand for the product, demand for the product, and then the demand for the product will affect the demand for the employees. Employees. Demand for the employees. Can you understand? So therefore, you know, these external factors, they indirectly affect the demand for employees. But all these factors, all these factors, resignation, deaths, leaves of absence, they directly affect the demand for him employees. So therefore, factors, you know, which work as determinants of future demand for employees can be classified into two groups, such as direct factors and indirect factors. Okay, the number nine, you know, under num number nine, all the external factors we can consider as indirect factors because they are the factors, you know, which have an indirect impact on the demand. First, you know, they will affect directly another factor and that will affect the demand for employees. So in fact, political crisis will reduce demand for the product that will reduce demand for the employees. Tell me another, okay, not another factor, right? For an example for social factors, it's, you know, assume uh, festivals, you know, festivals. There's a social factor. Festivals, you know, affect demand for the product. Demand for the product. Uh, which affects demand for the employees. If there are many festivals, 
new festivals new art functions you know new creative functions you know way within the country is smoothly running and progressing there can be new festivals you know, social festivals even religious festivals we can consider under social and then they will increase the demand for the products and then which will increase the demand for employees okay like economic factor now i have mentioned here like you know inflation inflation is an economic factor then uh, fixed deposit rate uh, that's an economic factor fixed uh, defer deposit rate okay right so if you have questions you can raise okay then now you know for the purpose of forecast you know the, then we have to do forecasting so you have learned the meaning of forecast what is forecasting by using past information and present information we are going to create future information we are going to make estimates they are the future information to do that forecasting we need forecasting techniques right informal forecast you have learned uh, this is an example of informal forecast you know try to understand again you know so if you are <coughs> you know manager you know what and gas bills should be made by the 10th of each month how come they have not gone up and then the work i know they should but we are short handed so that means we don't have sufficient employees then we used 25 hours overtime every week this month and each billing billing cycle still takes 34 days you can then gas bill water bill eva hadanna sevaka you can customer de and e adala veda kati de bill sammanda veda kati ku karanna kochcha vela ayana 34 days ya 34 days and then manager we better get personnel to hire us another clerk here the personnel means personnel department okay hr department we better get personnel hr department to hire us another clerk we should pay the salary through lower overtime cost you can overtime when you have permanent technician gun over time karana kota karanne den vartaman ayam veda ganne kati in order to do over time we have to use current employees then they will have to work for additional hours additional hours usually per day the employee has to work for 8 days then maybe 4 hours not 8 days sorry 8 hours per day usually an employee has to work you know that i have taught you then if the employee, you know overtime only 2 years sorry 2 hours or 4 hours 2 hours or 4 maximum per day 4 hours right usually yeah usually then uh, instead of using current employees to do overtime so the managers decided to take a permanent employee this is called informal forecast informal forecast the second one formal expert survey so you can remember this exam you know expert survey we ask you know these questions survey you know survey is an invest investigation then you know the, uh, through the survey we are going to collect information estimates for future demand of employees and then we will have to ask questions so this exhibit gives a set of questions for an ex expert survey the ogalan then the me krame paavichi garotte hema expert survey तो रोगलांड सिद्ध विनवा यम्यम प्रश्न 
గణనా అహండి అదాల ఎక్స్పర్ట్లు ఎక్స్పర్ట్లు అక్కడ గీల ఈ ప్రశ్నాల ఏగి పిలుతుల భాగాన్ని ఉండే పిలుతుతమై ఎస్టిమేట్స్ విన్ ఫోకాస్ట్ విన్ ఇప్పుడు ఈ సందా భోజనత్తున ప్రశ్న మాలా వక్తమై మీ ఎక్సిబిట్ ఏది ఎత్తన మీ ఉందట ఉందట అధ్యయనే కరో మీ ప్రశ్న మాలా ఈ అదాల ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ తోటితమై మీ ప్రశ్న ఏమి you know if you really study this set of questions you will realize that these questions are related to factors affecting demand for human resources nine factors you know nine factors can you remember nine factors demand for the product strategic plans for of the organization production methods retirements resignations death leaves of absent terminations and external factors such as economic factors social factors political factors or forces right you can examine this one you know is there a significant increase for the goods or services being produced by your department the department taking a hano ogalang is department ka sevak sala sanna bulan department ka yam kisi bond app ko sevak janita karan thoda ఏ సేవే సేవే సందా ఇల్లు మెడివేలా తీయాలి అని ఎందుకు ఇలా సిగ్నిఫికెంట్ ఇంక్రీస్ చేయక ఏమి తీయనా డూ యూ నీడ్ టు ఇంక్రీస్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ఏమైనా సేవకు వెడిగా అవశ్యం వాట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ మునవాగి ఏ సేవకు హై మెన్ హౌ మెనీ కొచ్చారా దెన్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ క్యారికల్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ప్రొడక్షన్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ సేల్స్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ లైక్ వైస్ టైప్స్ దెన్ హౌ మెనీ ఉదాహరణ అప్పుడు ముఖో యూజీసీ కింద విశ్వవిద్యాలయం కేనా అపే డిపార్ట్మెంట్ అపే ఫ్యాకల్టీ కేనా ఫ్యాకల్టీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ తీరాని కీపా బిజినెస్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ కేనా లమై తా వేడికరండి దాయా అకౌంటింగ్ ఎక్కడ దాయాకు వేడికరండి ఉచ్చార ఎక్కడ పాహకు వేడికరండి ఏమి దీనికి గవర్నమెంట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ యూజీసీ రిక్వెస్ట్ or perhaps rather than requesting you know re the ugc requires our faculty or the relevant departments to increase the the intake new students to read for the relevant degrees or that means there's a significant increase for the service for the higher education given by the department and then there will be a need of increasing university teachers lecturers are they assistant lecturers or are they senior lecturers are they professors likewise okay all right the second one go to you know this one do you have any plans to expand expand or close or reduce your business as a result what types of employees do you need to increase or reduce how many and i go like i know you have a department tell head gain ఒకలాగే ప్లాన్ తీయనా ఉతమాగే ప్లాన్ ఇక సెలసం తీయనా ఆయతని ఇక బిజినెస్ వసాదమ అడుకరాని ఎంత వేడికరాని అడుగు క్లోజ్ కరినా కూడా రిడ్యూస్ కరినా కూడా సేవకి అడివి డిమాండ్ కాదు ఎక్స్పాండ్ కర డిమాండ్ వెన్ వి డూ క్లోజింగ్ ద డిమాండ్ గోస్ డా వెన్ వి డూ ఎక్స్పాండింగ్ ద బిజినెస్ డిమాండ్ గోస్ డా so likewise please try to understand these questions okay all right so if you have questions carry the delphi technique or may go there again no but there may be some students uh, yes to whom i was not the teacher but anyway i think the, the, all the teachers you know in the department are qualified they must have got the right material in the right way the right amount right మీకు ఉదాహరణ దెల్ఫీ క్రమ యాప్ మాట అక్కడ ఫైవ్ స్టెప్స్ తీయ తవక నెక్కి అన్న పొలం సిక్స్ స్టెప్ తీయనా సెవెన్ స్టెప్స్ తీయనా స్టెప్స్ త్రీ తీయనా అక్కడ బట్ ఎనివే దర్ మే బి డిఫరెంట్ మోడల్స్ యూ నో గివెన్ డిఫరెంట్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ స్టెప్స్ బట్ యాజ్ ఫార్ యాజ్ దిస్ మెథడ్ ఈస్ కన్సర్న్ యూ నో ప్రపోజ్ బై ప్రొఫెసర్ స్టాన్ అండ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ మేర్ దర్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ స్టెప్స్ ఫస్ట్ యూ నో వీ హెవ్ టు ఐడెంటిఫై దిష్యూ 
here the issue is forecasting demand for future demand for employees the specifically maybe production employee or accounting employees or university lecturers in hospital maybe the nurses or medical doctors then a small group of panel of 10 of your expert is identified then independent judgments about the issue are obtained from each expert to a question in or structures in them independent judgment so therefore experts you know can't meet and then discuss they can't do that they are experts you know they must be able to independently independently give their judgments of course there is a facility the human resource planner usually from a chart department you know that person you know does collecting analyzing and feeding back information from the first questionnaire or interview to each expert then steps are three and four repeat until there is a consensus on the issue or problem 100% consensus or agreement is not possible it's not practical but approximate consensus consensus or agreement can ekang gabi but expert la tere ekang gabi that is expected so usually we uh, do repeating the steps 3 and 4 for two or three times so this is an example so if you have questions you can raise now example forecasting by delphi tech here there are four ex five five experts then first round expert a has you know estimated 33 then expert b you know, 45 new employees then expert c 50 so likewise so you can see there is no agreement and then we can you know get the mean value and even the range the maximum number and the minimum number so can you remember those descriptive statistics again is descriptive statistics sabida ganna puluwa me mean ekak ganna balanna puluwa mean ekak gena mokadda 33 plus 45 plus 50 plus 40 plus 60 divided by 5 then we can get arithmetic mean mean it was a range the range ekak kiyanne the mean ekak athara pa kene the 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 The, the gap between the maximum number and the minimum number so what is the maximum number 60 the minimum number 33 then and ever give values you know those values are fit back to the relevant experts then we will request again please think and thank you very much for your support and all these things and please think again and then modify your values by considering these uh descriptive statistics then they do again the same then second you know from the second round uh, these are the values obtained by the human resource plan from the relevant five experts again you can see there is no consensus okay then again this group of statistics uh, the relevant figures are calculated and fed back and then relevant experts are requested to do to repeat the same thing then at the third round these are the values and then you can see there is an approximate consensus and then we can stop and then this value we can consider final estimate the mean value or the mod no problem we can you know? <clears throat> Okay, any questions? So, what are the okay disadvantages of using this one? And advantages of using this one. One advantage is, you know, these are you know these uh, personnel employees are experts. So normally we do know we we do understand that experts' estimates are better than. 
estimates done by non experts that's what that's a major advantage another advantage relatively easy relatively easy or oh, oh, we can argue that it's not relatively easy but yes uh, <clears throat> compared with uh, an expert survey the here for an expert survey usually the number is greater than the number of experts here here usually five or a limited number but for a survey maybe many 10 even 25 if the organization is a very large one even 10 uh, 100 respondent then are possible therefore relatively easier to administer and estimate the demand one disadvantage can anyone tell one disadvantage time ah yes uh, second round third round yes if there is a uh, if there is no consensus yes also there is a possibility of having a disagreement among the experts then we we will have a problem okay then unit forecasting that is uh, bottom up approach which you have learned so go to this figure an example here the uh, organization is a university first you know the 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 the, the relevant in sub departments they prepare you know forecast of academics then those forecast are sent to each dean of the university then dean the dean may adjust or may not may not adjust and then the relevant forecast are sent by the relevant deans to the vice chancellor and finally the vice chancellor prepares a forecast for the entire university basing on the forecast forwarded by deans for the next 3 years so on the time horizon is 3 years okay so remember this is a general approach then certain other techniques will have to be utilized now in addition to this what am i have approach you need forecast and another one is extra prolation extending past rates of change into the future that we have learned this usually yes it is based on past data we are trying to you know find out a trend or pattern and based on the pattern then we are going to estimate for the next year or for the next Uh, two years to come or three years to come so this example you can remember right then the or if you or otherwise you know you read it and then you can understand of what they were doing then ratio analysis this is another approach that means making forecast based on the ratio between you know some social factor there must be one social factor and then the number of employees required then we try to develop a ratio between that social factor and the number of employees required now this is an example so i assume that a firm could make you know this much of sales in the last year by utilizing 10 sales persons ओके लक्ष की याद रहते हैं लक्ष सी या हंड्रेड लैक्स टेन मिलियन वन मिलियन ने लक्ष दाहे नहीं है राइट ओके टेन मिलियन इन सेट्स द लास्ट इयर इन 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 रुपीस इयर्स बाय यूटिलाइजिंग टेन सेट्स वर्सेस टेन द रेशियो इज दिस दिस इज द रेशियो 
Okay, then it indicates that the firm needs one salesman to generate a sales valuing this much, one billion. Then if the next year sales forecast is 20 million, the firm will need to hire 10 additional salespersons for the next year. Okay, I hope you understood. Then another example, a university, even in Sri Lankan universities, state universities, they use this one. Students teacher ratio. Students teacher ratio. Okay, here for 15 students, one academic is needed. Then if the university increases students for the next year by 30, then it will need to have two academics. It will need to hire two new academics. This is a simple method and easy to use. However, it does not consider some important factors which determine future demand for human resources. Some important factors, you know, like demand for the product, this doesn't consider. Then productivity improvement doesn't consider. You know, if there is a productivity improvement, you know, that means, you know, the, the employee can do more compared with the past. And then there will be a reduction for future employees, not an increase. So when the productivity of current employees you know, goes up, future demand for employees, what will happen? Goes down. The Nikai Tandavo, Sevokyo, Kenny, Kaseva Kik, Siak Nishpadan. One employee, you know, did produce 100. Assume now, because of uh, new tools, because of new training, because of you know, experience, this new employee now, you know, uh, this one employee can produce now 100. Oh, you know, 100, no, 200. 200 per employee. That means productivity improvement. You know, so then in the present assume we have been using uh, 50 employees. Now, because of this productivity improvement, we will need only 25. Other 25 we don't need. Right, then the retirement, leaves of absence, so likewise, you know, we have to, uh, yes, this is a disadvantage. Mathematical approaches, you know, if you take mathematical approaches, you know, many factors are not really considered. If not many, you know, there are certain factors which are not considered. Then there's the scatter plot you know, by using regression analysis. Normally we use regression analysis, but that is a statistical tool, statistical method. The scatter plot. To do this so, so we do need two variables. You know, a measure of business activity and the organization's staffing levels. Relating to that, measure of business activity. Right. Go to this example. So assume that you are the human resource manager of a hotel that has 30 rooms. So it expects to expand the number of rooms from 30 to 100 within the next five years. You want to forecast the requirement for hotel assistance. Hotel assistance, the type of employees. The variable you consider as a measure of business activities, size of the hotel in terms of number of rooms available. Okay, then you can conduct a study using the telephone to find out number of rooms and number of hotel assistants of eight hotels as you know, in the industry nearby. Then you will use a telephone survey to find out number of rooms and the number of hotel assistants. Assume you were successful, then you got 
you know this information okay have a serious look and then uh then try to understand have a serious look and then try to understand good morning my name is mama and lecture ga kini Okay, right. Did you understand? Number of rooms and number of hotel assistants. Okay, then by using regression. So I okay, you can see the plotting. This is the plotting. Even by using free your your free hand, you can do that. No problem. you know this i got by using spss a statistical package for social sciences including management hrm so here horizontally you can see number of rooms vertically you can see number of hotel assistants then these are the you know plots you know, by by using these two figures these 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 figures yes relating to two variables okay then for the next year you know for the next year you know we can you know we, we can develop uh, you know this is called a trend line you know uh, in order to cut you know in order to touch as many plots or dots as possible you know we can we are supposed to draw this line by using free hand also we can do that then if you want to estimate you know like uh, assume the number of hotel assistant number of rooms assume 90 yeah, then assume here 90 and how many people so in this way we can go and then determine first we go up like this vertically then come to this line then we turn left and then go horizontally up to this axis vertical axis and then we can decide here yes, that is approximate okay that's 110 the number of hotel assistants you know if we have 90 rooms we will need 110 employees because currently we have 100 and then we will have to hire 10 so currently we have 100 and then if the number of rooms 100 then we will need 120 hotel assistants assume at the moment we are currently using 100 and then we will have to hire new 20 hotel assistants or bell boys or maybe 
It's okay, wait, there's a hotel assistance, right? Room boys. Okay, any questions? Right. <clears throat> Okay, so these are the techniques now. So how many techniques uh, we have learned now? How many techniques? Formal forecast. Uh, no, informal forecast, the first one. Then formal expert survey, second one. Delphi technique, third one. Then fourth one, unit forecasting. Fifth one, extrapolation. Sixth one, ratio analysis. Then seventh one, the scat, uh, uh, scatter, 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 sorry, scatter, plan, or scatter plot, plot. That's also planning, yes. Scatter planning or plot planning. Right, seven methods were learned now. Okay, then by using these methods, all the methods or some methods, we will be able to get the future numbers for the future employees, or the numbers for the future employees, then see these numbers, you know, will be short-term numbers or long-term numbers. The short-term numbers or short-term employee needs, we can report in terms of a table. That is called staffing table or manning table. So you have learned a staffing table. Can you remember? You have learned about staffing table or manning table. So this is the definition from the writing from Worth and Davis. Staffing table lists the future employment needs for each type of job. This listing may be a specific number or an approximate range of needs, depending on the accuracy of the underlying forecast. Okay, all right. So therefore, simply you, know, you can see this is an example. Staffing table, right? Now, so what is a staffing table? It is a short-term human resource plan that is specifies types of job vacancies which occur in the future, usually within the next month. Sorry, within the within the next year. Yes, within next few months or the 12 months, within the next year. So that will specify job vacancies, which will occur you know, within next 12 months. Types of employees and the number of employees. Here you can see types of employees, then the number of employees, the number. So this is a hypothetical partial, partial, you know, not a full staffing table, partial. Partial means, you know, there are some other, you know, you can see here, information is missing. Even these are also missing. Okay, so the job number, you can see here the job title, then the relevant department using, or uh, in which this job is available. So we can, you know, for each job, you know, we can calculate the estimate. Then we can identify vacancies. First, you know, we have to identify, you know, we have to identify, you know, we have to consider the factors. And then we have to decide the impact of these factors on this job, whether increasing vacancies or reducing or no, no, no vacancies or resulting in vacancies. Okay, so you can see here, but the reason is a resignation for this vacancy that occurs, that will occur because this is a plan of that will occur in month, namely March. Then there will not be vacancies 
occurring in other months of the year to come for this job, assistant operations manager. Then there will be only one vacancy. Then for production supplies, eh? one vacancy will occur in January, another vacancy will occur in July, and all together the number is, will be two. The reason for these two vacancies is expansion, increasing the business. So likewise, but the Wendy organization is a very large one. The calculation of vacancies is not an easy one. Not an easy one. Right. One question. Good question. Jude Abekon, right? Good. If there are two reasons for the demand in two months, how to record it in the remarks column. It's okay, don't worry, the experience you can change. You know, this is only an example, so therefore be intelligent and then, you know, write down all the two reasons, no problem. Even uh, for vacancy one, the reason is this. For vacancy two, the reason is this. You can use, you know, you can write down, no problem here. You know, you can, you can write down, no problem. Also, uh yes perhaps uh, to re for the for, you know for the two vacancies the same two reasons or maybe dif uh, different reasons don't worry you can write down you know you have to estimate okay the, the, there may be various reasons but the more importantly you have to estimate the number of vacancies but of course, you have to concentrate on various reasons, determinants. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, this is you know, the, the you know I have I am teaching you one approach to human resource plan. If you refer to several books, you know you will find out several models. But uh, you know most of our students, you know, will find it difficult to understand. You know, if you want, you can try. So I firmly believe that my approach is understandable to you and also more practical. So I'm not telling that, you know, there are no practical approaches, you know, written by foreign scholars. No, I will never say that. But you try, you know, you try. And then you will experience it. Obama, a foreign portfolio chapters, human resource planning chapter, Sort of theory, you know, so you will really understand the value of this teaching and this not. Of course, there are some very good books, you know, which are also understandable, but some books, you know, uh, more complex, difficult to understand. But anyway, every author we have to thank. Then estimate human resource supply. Then long-term, long you know, long-term human resource needs are not usually presented in terms of a staffing table. They are usually statements. You know, like, you know, we, we can say uh, for the next five years, you know, we will have to increase our university academics. For the next five years, we will have to increase our lab assistance. So likewise, you know, Certain statements are there. They are not specific. They don't give specific numbers. But short-term estimates, of course, they, they are specific. They should give specific numbers. And they are written, they are recorded in a staffing table like this. Right now, estimating HR supply. Estimating HR supply. Okay, there are two sources of human resources supply. Internal supply and external supply. Normally, from the you know uh, from the first step, we have identified vacancies. Now we have to decide how to fill those vacancies. Internally, we can fill. Also, externally, we can fill. 
Then in case of externally, externally filling, we have to calculate, we have to estimate, sorry, internally, in case of internally filling, we have to estimate internal supply. Then in case of externally filling, we have to estimate external supply. Right, what is this internal supply? Internal supply consists of current employees, you know, whom we can promote, whom we can transfer to fill vacancies, to fill the estimated vacancies, okay, which are usually in the, in the staffing table. Then what is external supply? That consists of people who are outside the organization, who are not working for the organization. But they are working, they may be working for other organizations in industries. Also, outside people may be not working at the moment. They are seeking jobs. So therefore, they are job seekers who are unemployed. Uh, two types of people are there under external supply. Under internal supply, of course, one type, that is your current employees who can be promoted or who can be transferred or both, you know, promoted and transferred to fill job vacancies. Okay, all right. Right now, <clears throat> The, the second step has three, no, not three, two sub steps. The first one is first sub step of the second uh, major step of human resource planning process. What is in current human resources? So, under this, you know, we have to calculate how many people within our organization available, how many people are available within our organization. An accurate answer we have to get for that question. And then what are the skills? Now, what are the knowledge, things, related things? So, and another word, you know, competencies. What are the competencies of our people? That also we have to calculate. In that way, you know, we will be able to know promotions, replacements. So what are replacements? Replacements are the employees who are going to be promoted to fill job vacancies, usually promoted to fill job vacancies. So even transfers, that is also there. Transferring is also there. Right. So then uh, if you do auditing current human resources, we will have to prepare two documents, two types of documents, or two documents, such as a skill inventory and management inventories. So I have talked about the differences between skill inventories and management inventories. So I hope you can remember, skill inventories are for non-manager employees, management inventories are for manager employees. A skill inventory, you know, should contain the following information accurately. Identification information of the employee, identification information of the job, job title, job location, so these things, and education, professional, academic, and experience, so likewise. Special competencies, trainings, current and past job evaluations, performance, not job evaluation, eh? job perform and evaluations, promotability, whether the person can be promoted or not, weaknesses, references, hobbies. Right. In addition to the above information, a management inventory should include these things. Number of subordinates supervised, jobs and duties of the subordinates, total budget managed. Normally, for a manager, there's a budget to be managed. Then management training received, management system developed and implemented. A successful manager, you know, must have developed certain systems of management and implemented. Creative work and innovations. 
Of course, these uh, documents you know need to be updated, usually for every two years or at least for every three years. We do, we should do updating. Otherwise, the employees you know uh, <clears throat> may have acquired new qualifications, new skills, but they are not recorded. They are missing from the documents. Uh, that is not good because in order to determine replacements, in order to do succession planning, that is the next step, you are going to use these inventories. Therefore, we have to make sure that these inventories are updated, not, not outdated. Uh, this is an example of management inventory. So I'm not telling that, you know, this format is the best approach, but this is definitely a good approach, good format. So some best companies in the world, they may develop, they may have different formats. So don't worry, if you refer to a good uh, foreign book, you might find, you know, another example, which has a, which was, you know, which was, uh, yes, which was prepared by using another format. But anyway, make sure that, you know, the format is understandable to you. You know, well, the area format Okay, so this has to be understandable to the people who use. Right, so you can see here one inventory for one manager, remember. One inventory for one, one manager. So this is the name of the our hypothetical manager. Then the employee number, then the present job title, then the location. Then you can see the I develop this based on an actual manager who is a graduate in HRM from our department. The education, the BSc HR with second class upper honors from University of Sijayabhanpur, 2000. Then MSc management is specializing in HR from the University of Sijaya in 2007. Then experience. He has worked, you know, as uh, executive training, then executive HR, then assistant human resource manager, then human resource manager. You know, you can see the time from two, this one up to now. Then special managerial training that this manager has acquired, internship in a chart and for six months at ABC company. So therefore, training a candidate Ganukula will internship at Masai. Tamara Audu Hagatiana, so Tamara Audu Degadiana, you know, some people get a six months training, some people uh, get even one year training. Okay, it is up to you. Then disciplinary management, another special training that was acquired by this manager. Then counseling, another special management training. Then competencies, you know, by using a five point scale. Five stands for excellent. One stands for very good. Then the superior rating you can see here. Competencies, uh, seven types of competencies are here. Technical competence. Then what is technical competence? Technical competence. Uh, that is the ability of the manager to utilize tools, techniques, principles, schemes of the relevant field. Of the relevant field. The HR field, what is the relevant field here? It's HR. So there are technical competence skills again, interviews, or uh, other techniques, tools, perform and evolution or other techniques, tools. And Eva Pilipanda, Hakia. Eva Dana Pramani, Sabavita Grand Mulam Praman. Eva Komeno competence in again. Knowledge and skills. Okay, so to what extent? The employee knows those tools, techniques, and all these things, and 
the skills that the employee has regarding the application of those things. Now, with that, we have a human resource plan in the agriculture. The other one is technical competence. We have staff in table building, you know, preparing staff in tables, preparing uh, skill inventories, management inventories. Doing estimates, doing doing estimates by using various techniques of forecasting, technical competence. It is up. Don't misunderstand. You know, the technical competence uh, relates to machines, machines only to machines. No, right? Then human relation competence. You know, ability to you know communicate, ability to lead, ability to coordinate. Ability to understand people, ability to uh, understand conflicts and solve conflicts. No again. Is there a way you can get a lobby? Get on our board. The current thing is that we are missing the thing. Abhi pair ne kar ne ka minister lead. Aaya ka pe dene ko thama human relation competence. Then technical competence. Sorry. Then conceptual competence. Other is about planning competence. Is there any other task? Can we solve some problem? Kya? समस्ते दकिन है थी, समस्ते दकिन ने बुलाया मिल रहा है यहाँ बिज़ देख, तो निकाय दान दा विशेष आज जो वही दूरे करता है ना अभी तो मुझे एस एस कन ना से बिलो इधर एस कन ना से पिलो मतलब इधर आई ये बुद्धा की, ना उन मुलु शरीर में दकिन ने बुलाया ना ये लोग कुत्ते, यू नो, for an ENT especially usually the you know the the relevant doctor you know can see thoroughly ears Dropped and eyes. Sorry, yes. What is this? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. As uh, I can, yes. So, can eyes as then the throat, uh, good. You know, specifically the doctor knows. But if the doc doctor has an ability of knowing the entire body, the relationship, you know, among these things. That's a better thing. That's a better thing. So likewise, in case of a manager, if the manager can understand the entire organization, all the divisions, all the departments, all the units, how those things you know come under conceptual competence, also ability to conceptualize, define variables, ability to measure variables, those also we can put under conceptual competence. If not, you know, uh, we put those things specifically as a separate competence, like you know, research competence, the mental reasoning competence. That is simply uh, intelligence, intelligence, an appropriate personality competence, power shakti radal competence, the capability of maximizing virtues while minimizing rights. I mean, again, ah. पर्सनल कैरेक्टर की लगी है पर्सनल कैरेक्टर ना पेनों ने अपने राते पर्सनल कैरेक्टर का डेवलप ही नहीं तो दुम है दुम हमारे वक्त ही ने यहाँ पर पुतगल की चरित्र अक्ति ने निलंदारी देश पालक ने फायदा ने तो दुम आवास ना है तेरा ने देखा पिविंदी ने दुख राइट Capability of maximizing virtues while minimizing vices. That is personal character. Another word, you know, that is about morality. Morality, sada chare. Then number seven, self-management competence. The samara de prashna kene bolwa virtues kya ne magar dikhe. The isse idhiri dikhe ka nila bhi. Virtues and vices. That's a subject for. Personal and social responsibility, and definitely you will have to learn virtues and vices. Virtues are you know moral qualities which are useful for you, useful for others, useful for the entire nation, useful for the world, such as honesty, benevolence, respect, care, gratitude. And what are my virtues? Can I get the honesty? Can I virtue? Can I learn? यान सद्गुने आवांक कम की न सद्गुने मनोतरम बढ़िया अदकाय 
దే మినిమైజింగ్ వాయిసెస్ వాయిసెస్ వాళ్ళకి పిరిచ ఉద్దుమ విధేయుడు పిరిచ రటాక్తమైమి లంక వాయిసెస్ ఇమోరల్ క్వాలిటీస్ బ్యాడ్ క్వాలిటీస్ విచ్ ఆర్ హార్మ్ఫుల్ ఫర్ అదర్స్ హార్మ్ఫుల్ ఫర్ యూ హార్మ్ఫుల్ ఫర్ ద నేషన్ ఎగన్ జాతీయ తమంత అనుంత అహితకర లక్షణ గతి లక్షణ మనాలు వాయిసెస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ జెలసి ఈర్ష రిపబేషన్ పలిగని రిపబేషన్ రిటాలియేషన్ రిటాలియేషన్ పలిగని రిపబేషన్ దర్ ఇస్ కర్సి సాపగిరి దెన్ హాస్టిలిటీ వైరే సెల్ఫిష్నెస్ ఆత్మార్థ కామిత్ అదీసా వైసెస్ గ్రీట్ గ్రీట్ తన్హాల్ ఉద్దు అమ్ము తన్హాల్ గ్రీట్ ఓకే ఓ రైట్ బికాస్ దిస్ టీచింగ్ ఈస్ బీన్ రికార్డెడ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అవుట్ సైడ్ థింగ్స్ విచ్ మే బీ యూస్ఫుల్ ఫర్ యూ బట్ ఎనీవే then self management competence managing yourself this also you will be able to learn in future under a separate course how to manage yourself how to manage your time how to manage your stress how to manage your career how to manage your personal life how to manage your work life how to get the balance between work life and family life all these things you know come under self management okay all right dear students at the moment don't worry if you don't know the details of these things don't worry there is a separate subject called human resource development under which you will have to learn these things again in detail also under different subjects you will be able to. don't worry everyone you know must possess these things rama kenekma me competency is ten known sarthakamaina to be successful in samadhi dhyayanda icharamul ginagana bho deva tamange pautgilige jeevitayata rijju madar so many things that you are learning and icharam will be useful personally directly to you not like some other you know specialization area the language is case the samar specialization areas tina oi ko deval pote tamai evati oi ko deva vakva tina arva tina meva tina prayogi ko adalane samar kavadava use kallane samar no but most of the things in hr you can use adu vase merate use kala hatta loke ko he ratol use kala ti మీరా రేవా యూస్ కానీ పులు అంగా తీరా దట్స్ వై మమ అకౌంటింగ్ గేన్ మీ మా తయారు ఎకనామిక్స్ గేన్ మీ మా తయారు మమ ఇచ్చార మీ స్పెషలైజ్ కరే లాంగ్వేజ్ స్కేస్ దెన్ సుపీరియర్ రేటింగ్ Okay, you can see here then the hobbies, then position or preference, then subordinates, then total budget managed, then relevant employee signature, approving that, yes, this is correct. The relevant superior signature, then HR department. Okay, dear students, all right. Then the power, this. second sub step deciding replacements identifying and arranging possible replacements or simply deciding replacements because we you know replacements means utilizing you know i mean employees who are utilized internally to fill job vacancies okay we have to identify successes to fill future the relevant job vacancies yes relevant job vacancies 
right you also we have to prepare certain uh, documents certain things you know, such as replacement charts and replacement summaries right what this is replacement chart is another useful tool for human resource planning so what is a replacement chart but that's a visual representation of who will replace whom in the event of a job opening or in the event of a job vacancy who will replace whom you know there is a current employee who is going to leave the organization maybe or into retirement maybe or into a resignation maybe or into a serious uh, illness then early retirement voluntary retirement right so then who is, who will be utilized to work as the successor to that current employee who is supposed to leave the organization at a particular future date on a particular future date yes at a particular future time yes correct on a particular date right an alternative term for a replacement chart is a succession chart then the, the, this process you know we can consider this as a process what is this deciding replacement to fill job vacancies and this process is called succession plan right this is an example of a succession okay yes yeah, succession plan or alternatively a partial replacement chart figure 5.4 okay so you should be familiar with these things there are certain keys pp promotion potential so this you know correct or check mark or correct mark stand for ready now for job promotion then plus mark stands for needs more training so likewise okay cross mark stands for not suitable for promotion so likewise you know a stand for e stand for t e stands for then jp job perform okay so you can see here the relevant vacancies here for the post of general manager Okay, so I assume that this current manager, namely A. Pereira, is supposed to retire in the next year when he will be fifty-five years old. Assuming that the retirement age is fifty-five. Now, current retirement age is sixty uh, or sixty-two. In case of a private organization, in case of uh, Uh, state organization it is 65 then operations okay here you can see here the successor is this person this person okay among among operation manager human resource manager and marketing manager and finance manager the most appropriate person is operation manager human resource manager also you know performance is excellent yes but uh, needs more experience so like we can we can fill you know these things okay you can see here yes ah uh, here nimal yes needs more experience but job performance is excellent that means a uh, younger person but this is even total experience in the organization this person yes jana uh, yes this one 20 but uh, human resource managers total experience is 20 then uh, the the other one is uh, p kamal who is working as the marketing manager whose total experience is 
only eight years. So likewise, you know, these people need more experience. This person is not suitable. Then the right person is the star soul, according to this star. Then there will be, because, you know, Asoka is a replacement to this job. Then uh, the, the, the job of operation manager will become vacant. And then we will have to utilize another person. Another person. So according to this, Mr. Janaka will be the successor. So I assume now Mr. Janaka is working as the assistant operation manager. Then because of this replacement, remember, there will be a vacancy for the first stop, assistant operation manager. The replacement is a vacancy set here. Without a staff in table, like it in the table, up out staff in table in my in even at the net employee requirement table, like other than what a table. The Gatram Kerla Balan or the Emma, the Emma Nokara, the Mogolan, the Oshadim is a pain and providing what is needed to do an actual human resource planning. You know, if you are serious, you know, find out an organization for which. Uh, you know, decide type of or uh, you know decide a section or department and do a human resource plan and then definitely you will be able to get develop your skills in human resource plan. Right. Now the time is 9.30. Let us have a break for 15 minutes. Let us have a break for 15 minutes. Okay, so then 9.00 uh, uh, 55, shall we resume? Okay, right. Okay, then uh, shall we resume now? Right. <clears throat> then replacement chart. And then the other one is replacement summary. So what is the difference between a replacement chart and a replacement summary. Replacement chart is like an organizational chart, but of course it is not an organizational chart. It is a visual representation. So can you remember? It is a visual representation. Who will replace whom in the event of a job vacancy? You, know, so you can see here. They are useful for internal recruitment through promotion, yes. Then, uh, you know, they give a quick reference to decision makers. However, there is one uh, limitation. The, you know, the limited information we can put in, in a replacement chart. So a replacement chart contains a very limited information. But a replacement summary can contain a higher amount of information. High amount of information. A replacement summary is a document in which successor for a job vacancy has been decided and mentioned with his uh, relative strength and weakness. So these are also there. Relative strength, strengths and weakness. They are also there. So it has more information than a replacement chart does or contains. Right now, go to exhibit 5.4. That gives an example of replacement summary. What is the relevant job for the job of general manager? Present office holder, Mr. Pereira. So age is this, and probable opening in one year next July. Reason retirement. The salary this much per month. So at the time of uh, developing this chapter, yes. Now we can, so like uh, one million something. Then experience 25 years or 
seven lakhs, or at least five lakhs. And experience are uh, twenty-five years. And candidate A is the A software. So current position, current performance, promotability. Then you can see here age, experience. So age uh, that is in the replacement chart. This one also in the replacement chart. This one also this item is in the replacement chart. This item also in, in the replacement chart. But this explanation is not in the replacement chart. Asoka's perform an evaluation by the general manager always the highest possible. Their explanation is you know ready for now. This is excellent, you know, current performance. This is the explanation for that. They're ready now for promotion explanation during an extended illness of the general manager. Asoka assumed all duties successfully, including major policy decisions and negotiations with the, with the unions. That's explanation that, that, you know, so this, this, you know, show that the person is ready now, the person is capable of becoming the general many. Okay, right. Then candidate two, you can see here. Then current form of excellent, you know, Nimali has introduced six new HRM schemes and implemented them successfully, increasing customer satisfaction and employee satisfaction. Reducing absenteeism, tardiness, and turnover by 10%. You know, this Nimali, you know, the char many, excellent power. Explanation, you know, six new HR schemes and implemented them successfully, increasing customer satisfaction and employee satisfaction. Reducing absenteeism, tardiness, turnover by 10%. But promotability needs more experience. Explanation is this. Nimali's experience is limited to staff. Now we are discussing this uh, uh, staffing. HRD, human resource development, employee relations, labor relations, rewards management. Although successful, she needs more broad manager experience in operations, finance, and strategic planning. Because this is the job is general manager. From the point of general manager, She's, uh, she needs more experience. Though her current performance on the current job, that is human resource manager, is excellent. Right. For a job like uh, deputy director or deputy general manager, HR, if there's a vacancy for that, then Nimal is suitable for that. More likely, you know, more likely. Okay, all right. Okay, dear students, any questions? Now the compare forecast demand with estimated supply and desired strategies to be taken. So here we have to calculate net employee requirements for the relevant planning period. How do you calculate net employee requirements? We, we have to have projected supply, estimated supply, including replacements. Then we have to deduct or subtract that estimated supply from forecast demand. Then we will be able to get net employee requirements for a particular job. Of course, that number will may be a positive number or a negative number. A positive number in, indicates a surplus of employees. A negative number indicates a shortage of employees. Okay, all right. So this is an example. Forecast demand for estimated supply, then net employee requirements. Okay, all right. Then there are several strategies, actions which are possible to be decided in employee surplus conditions. So they are given here. So you have studied these things. Then uh, shortage conditions for shortage conditions, the relevant strategies are here, which also you have learned. Right. Okay, then 
the last one, the last step of the process, that is assessing human resource planning effect. You know, we want to be better in human resource planning. You know, our planning is an approximation thing, approximation. Usually to do planning is not an easy thing. It's a difficult thing because we have to forecast the, the impacts of various factors which determine future demand for employees. And also we will have to estimate the internal supply. And then we have to decide net employee requirements in terms of shortages and surpluses. Then we have to decide strategies for shortages as well as the strategies for surpluses. For some jobs there can be surpluses, for some jobs there can be surpluses, right. So then having done all these things, uh, we are supposed to measure the success of our you know, performance of the relevant steps of the process. Then we will be able to decide whether our human resource planning is successful or not. For any evaluation, you know that there must be criteria that we have to use. Some are objective criteria, some are subjective criteria. Right, so look at the list of criteria that I have given in this chapter. First one, did job vacancies which had not been forecasted occur or not? Now that is the, the number of job vacancies not forecast. Okay, so there's the question, question wise I have mentioned. Then if I want to mention as a criterion, number of job vacancies not forecasted, not forecasted. Forecasted, Nari. Forecast, Kila Givat Nari then. Present tense, past tense, future tense. Forecast, Kila may not have been Vartamani, the forecasted Kila for easiness, fight, you know. So the, uh, the past tense and past for participle. Right. A number of job vacancies not forecast. If this number gets increased, Whether success is, I mean, what will happen to the success of human resource planning effect? Gets increased, then human resource planning effect goes down. I mean, success of the planning, human resource planning goes down. If this number gets reduced, the success of human resource planning increases. In that way, please try to understand. If the number is zero, the degree of success will be perfect as far as this criterion is concerned. Okay, as far as this criterion is concerned. Right, then the second one, uh, in, in a question form I have mentioned here, I have written here, what is the difference between forecast number and actual number of job vacancies with regard to a job? So as a criterion, we can write down the yes, difference between forecasted figure and actual figure with regard to a job. Or forecast number and the actual number of job vacancies with regard to a job, right? In that, that way, yes, we can say. In this way, right? This criterion. So if the difference is greater, success is low. If you can't understand, please ask questions. If difference is smaller, success is higher. Right, then are there current employees who are suitable for filling job vacancies, but who were not considered or ignored for replacements? The replacements are Prati Stapan and Sada, Atharun, Amatakunu, I not. I have to know again, Hari Rabi, succession planning Kilane, inventories Hari Hadarane, why co update Kilane. Again, a human resource planning effort not successful. 
So when the number gets reduced, success of the act of estimating the internal supply of human resources increases. Yes. Okay, right. Then are there job vacancies which were not filled at the right time? But again, have the main purpose of human resource planning. You know, to yes, to fill the you know to the right vacancies. I mean to provide the organization with the right number of employees at the right time, in the right way, for the right jobs. So if there are job vacancies which are not filled at the right time, that means human resource planning is bad. If there are job vacancies, you know, which were filled at the right time, that means human resource planning is good. Right then, how did, how long did job vacancies remain vacant at the time of, you know, time of filling the job vacancies? In other words, the time of filling the job vacancy, time taken or two to fill the job vacancy. After many you know, months, did the organization fill the job vacancies or 11 job vacancies? Yeah, that is, you know, we have human resource planning, which is bad. But if this time, you know, yes, if the time of remaining vacant is lesser, the success of human resource planning is Hi. Then are there any surplus? Sus. Or shortages? Or is there any surplus or shortage? If there is, human resource planning is wrong or bad. If there is no, human resource planning is good. And how much cost did it incur for human resource planning? It should not be too expensive. Unnecessarily, we should not spend money for human resource planning. Of course, to do planning, we have to spend some money, some time, some effort. That is there, inevitable. Right. Now, what does question number eight ask? Is there any failure of a plan owing to lack of numbers and types of needed employees? If the answer is yes, the human resource plan being effort is unsuccessful. If the answer is no, human resource planning effort is successful. Right. Then as the final unit of learning, we are supposed to learn certain principles of human resource planning. Certain principles of human resource planning. So here I have mentioned uh, several planning. You are supposed to learn, yes. How many uh, planning uh, principles? Yes. Five, yes. Yes, there are five. Five principles. Principle one. Human resource planning is to be linked with strategic organizational plan. So never forget this. And the advanced HR and we will learn strategic human resource planning. That is another branch of human resource planning in the final year. We will learn that. So then we will more focus on strategic planning and all this. Strategic HR. And. So therefore, uh, what is the strategic planning? Uh, that is the long-term plan for the organization. So when we think of the organization for more than three years, a far future, a long-term future, for a long-term future, if you think of the organizational affairs and all these things, and <clears throat> then, okay, of course, that is organizational planning. And when we do that, human resource planning also we have to do. Therefore, as an integral part, of strategic planning. The organization is supposed to do human resource planning. 
otherwise it is not good separately we should not do human resource plan that's why you know can you remember when i was discussing about yes forecast in demand for human resources and remember the second reason strategic plans of the organization after doing human res after after doing strategic planning we will have strategic plans which we can consider when we do forecasting for future demand of employees also while formulating while formulating the strategic plan we can do human resource planning also human resource feasibility whether we have right people at the moment okay all right therefore <clears throat> right then to be a basic function of course because it gives a foundation for several other hr functions you know without a good human resource plan we can't do recruitment successful we can't do selection successful we can do hiring successful we can do induction successful in order to do recruitment in order to do selection we must know the job vacancies the types of job vacancies and the number of job vacancies without knowing them we can't do successfully the recruitment i hope you can understand you can vacancy the recruitment can ne vacancies so the bahiring seva can never the ఐదు కరోనా హోయా గానే కానీ సో అండ్ రిక్రూట్మెంట్ వాట్ వీ డూ ఈస్ టు అట్రాక్ట్ సూటబుల్ క్వాలిఫైడ్ అప్లికెంట్స్ ఫర్ ద జాబ్ వేకెన్సీస్ అదెన్ సో ద వాట్ ఆర్ ద జాబ్ వేకెన్సీస్ వీ షుడ్ నో హౌ కెన్ వీ నో జాబ్ వేకెన్సీస్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ హ్యూమన్ రిసోర్స్ ప్లాన్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ద మేజర్ సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ నోవింగ్ వేకెన్సీస్ యా ఫోర్ టు బీ అ బేసిక్ ఫంక్షన్ Uh, that is a principle of human resource plan then participation especially when we do you know when if you use the technique call uh, unit forecast uh, then we have to, you know for the relevant heads unit heads departmental heads will have to participate therefore better you know for the relevant managers experienced managers you know in order you know uh, it is good to get participation of all these managers who know you know business affairs and then who will be able to know vacancies job vacancies and then how to fill them the benefits are to be greater than cost of course when we do human resource planning we will we have to incur certain cost but we will get many benefits and remember five reasons five purposes of human resource planning are those the benefits from these purposes you know ideally should exceed the cost involved in planning then we have to continue human resource plan so all vidha madarala me podi prayojana gan hadane theru mat nai kene ekin ke wenne you know uh your human resource planning so uh, is more important for large organizations and medium sized organizations for small business organizations we can do human resource planning of course we have to do but in the way that is informal we can do it rather than formal again yani small business organization ekata is again sa again go a comprehensive human resource plan ekak kaasine నవత్ హ్యూమ రిసోర్స్ ప్లాన్ ఎక్కువ అవసరం ఓనమో ఆయతనే అనాగదేది కొచ్చర సేవక అవసరం నేద అవసరం అనివారం తీర్రేగరే నవత్ ఇన్ఫార్మలీ ఫర్ ఫర్ ఎ స్మాల్ బిజినెస్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ కరన్న పూర్వ నవత్ లార్జ్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ద ఆర్డ్వి వగ ఆయతనో అనివారం కరన్ యు నో ది షుడ్ టేక్ ది యు నో గవర్నమెంట్ యాస్ ది ఎంప్లాయర్ దేర్ ఆర్ మెనీ గవర్నమెంట్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ దెన్ దేర్ ఇస్ మినిస్ we call ministry called public administration so in fact there should be a ministry of human resource management which is missing from sri lanka but anyway at least this ministry of public administration that should do human resource planning seriously for all the governments 
government organizations. Then consideration of factors, yes. Of course, without consideration of factors, we can't do factors which determine or affect future demand. We can't do successfully forecasting, yes. Right, dear students. Okay, then this is enough. Then let me uh, go to this uh, critical incident. Human resource planning, what is that? Now you please read, then try to understand. You are a human resource consultant. You have been called by the newly appointed president of a large manufacturing firm. Newly appointed president of a large manufacturing paper manufacturing firm. Paper. Nowadays, you know, producing papers is a very, very important thing for Sri Lanka. President. So I have been in the job, in this job for about one month now. And all I seem to do is interview people and listen to personal problems. Personal, you know. Here, personal means employee problems. The president means the general manager or managing director. Then you, you why have you been interviewing people? Don't you have a human resource department, President? Yes, we do. However, the human resource department doesn't hire top management people. As soon as I took over, I found out that two of my vice presidents were retiring and we had no one to replace them. But that is a bad situation. Two of vice presidents were retiring and we had no one to replace them. Now that means there is no re replacement plan. There is no succession plan. You must understand that at least for top managerial positions, we have to do succession plan. Indeed, for all the employees, we have to do succession plan. But at least for certain categories, which are critical for the maintenance of successful business, maintenance of the business of, of the organization successful, we have to engage in replacement plan, succession plan. Then you, have you hired anyone? President, yes, I have. That is part of the problem. I hired a guy from the outside, from the outside. As soon as the announcement was made, one of my department heads came in and resigned. The beating mechanic arrogant, you know. The vacancies, they are Kathvinani. There will be, you know, uh, I found that two of my vice presidents were retired. There will be two vacancies for vice president. That means deputy general managers. Normally, vice presidents can a deputy general managers, large organization, in case of a large organization, right? <clears throat> then uh, one person was hired from the outside, not internally. I think replacement chart, there is no replacement chart. Replacement, there's no replacement chart. There's no replacement summary. So no replacement, uh, I mean, succession plan. But then I had, uh, as soon as the announcement was made, one of my departments came in and resigned. She said that, she had wanted that job as vice president for eight years. How do you attack this image of the government? She has been working for this organization with the intention of getting promoted to that post. That, you know, there's an employee retention. You know, availability of promotions. This has seen promotion opportunities. Did that mean promotion opportunity had to be why they gonna volatility the way I let it? She was angry because she had we had hired someone from the outside. How was I supposed to know she wanted the job? The Yah Mahana, President Mahana, may job big a matona kill a moment that I had to sorry. I had to make job big on a killer. 
మంగు మహమ్మద్ దాన్ని వాస్ ఐ సపోజ్ టు నో మహమ్మద్ అనగా యూ టు అతను ప్రెసిడెంట్ అవబోదోర్స్ ప్లానింగ్ అండ్ ది ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ రిసోర్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద అబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ రిసోర్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఈస్ టు రిటైన్ ది మోస్ట్ అప్రోప్రియట్ ఎంప్లాయీస్ విత్ ఇన్ ది ఆర్గనైజేషన్ వాస్ టు ఎన్హాన్స్ జాబ్ సాటిస్ఫాక్షన్ ఎంప్లాయీ సాటిస్ఫాక్షన్ ఇది నా మేవా కిరింట్ అని ప్రెసిడెంట్ వర్క్స్ లైక్ దిస్ those objectives cannot be achieved they are the same you know those the human resource okay the president is not the human resource manager but the president is responsible for human human resource management so therefore president is supposed to know expectations of at least you know senior managers senior managers like the mithana vela the mithana problem is there another problem yes there is another problem turn over problem now there is a vacancy because of this source another vacancy okay it was say she left you know with dissatisfaction job dissatisfaction then uh, what will happen to the morale of other managers they may also get upset and they are more more likely goes down tends to go down in some ahmed ali senior ayito salaka ne thora anitta thenu regular morale ke cheet to dhairi ya job satisfaction bhai na me ayatane indala wedak ne api poda thaw samara inna puluwa we don't know whether you know there may be i mean with i mean there may be another manager expecting a promotion we don't know maybe two managers we don't know we should know we should study then you what have you done about the other vice president other vice president job other is job vacancy okay the president nothing because i am afraid someone else will quit because they were not considered for the job the me a bhai tava tekkene asala ayira inda ek feel karanne but that is only half my problem age prashne bhage attamai i just found out that among our youngest professional employees engineers and accountants there had been an 80% turnover rate during the past three years Oh, that is very big one <clears throat> the benchmarking karana pulu and then anitta ayatanatya ka sabeksho api tatve mukadda kiya da api benchmark karanne da api rate tatve benchmark karanne api pakistan eta england eta america eta ethiopia eta singapore eta benchmark karanne tore e tore benchmark karana pulu anna we can compare you know, our uh, figures with figures of similar organizations engaging in similar industries then reasonably you know we will be able to know our status whether we are developing or we are not developing or seriously under developing going down so then uh, this one you know the, the uh, relatively we can you know we can compare then compare karan netu api athulata compare wagi avurudu ekka beluwa the a figures metarane 80% turnover rate during the past three years. That's a huge amount. That's a bad thing. Then there will be vacancies for engineers and accountants. Then company, you know, has been spending a lot of money, a lot of effort, a lot of time on filling job vacancies for these jobs. Engineers, accountants, positions, jobs and positions. you know these uh, these are the people we promote around here as you know that is how i started how this company i was a mechanical engineer so therefore this president is the owner manager of this organization he started his career as a mechanical engineer so therefore he knows that uh, people you know critical employees for this organization paper manufacturing organization are engineers and engineers and 
also the accountants. When you has anyone asked them why they are leaving? Aye, bolla. Yanne ke lag aur har ya huwa. Present and yes, and they all give basically the same answer. Ekam apni tu rata mai nahi. Hamo. They say that they don't feel that they have a future here. You see, you can understand. Egolan ke hangin na, egolan ke anag the apni nahi. Me aaye the. Maybe I should call them all together and explain. How I progressed in this company. They are here now. Again, I should call them all together. Okuma, Kanaga, Anugala, Pahedri Karan. Month over the May Ayatani, Aduata Tindra, Uddu Dununi, Uncle over the May Ayatani Dunukari. Then you, have you ever considered implementing a human resource planning system on a system? We do need systems. This entire country does need many systems to succeed. We are talking about nowadays systems. Talking about systems, you know, has been our common phenomenon, common thing, practice. Yes, we do need systems, but the system should be right. So therefore, President, you know, how human resource planning? What is that? So that means uh, president has not heard about human resource planning, has not learned about human resource planning. No wonder, you know, because uh, as a prophet, you know, he he's a he's an engineer, so he got engineering education. So more likely, he has not learned human resource management formally. Because from, he's a graduate of all the education or all education. In engineering, but nowadays that's why, uh, <clears throat> for for a good engineering degree, there is human resource management. That's a mandatory course. So, all the things human resource management, when they human resource, when they engineering degree, that thing I was a master's degree in engineering, human resource management subject. That thing I was saying, engineers are not supposed to become experts in human resource management, but they should know, you know, general things about human resource planning. Why human resource planning is very, very important. You know that human resource management is very, very important. Not, not there's a course on human resource management, not really human resource planning. And at least then, an engineer, you know, I mean, a graduate who is going to be a serious engineer can learn human resource planning as a topic. Under the course of human resource planning, sorry, human resource management. Questions: How would you consider the president's speech? Number one. So number two: What would be required to establish a human resource planning system in this company? So now, if you have learned and studied all these things I discussed. Definitely, you will be able to answer these two questions successfully. Successfully. So, how would you answer the question? What is human resource plan? So, you have to define it. You have to define you know, the importance of. You have to. I mean, you have to mention the importance of human resource planning and the general human resource planning process. Then, as an answer for this question, of course, you know, in a way that you respond to the question raised by this president. And how would you, what would, you, what would be required to establish a human resource planning system in this company? Well, then you have to, <clears throat> yes, you have to. So, what would be required to establish? Anyone can answer. Anyone can contribute. Establish human resource planning system in this company. Of course, the you know the HR department. Correct. Uh, we have to introduce this subject, this uh, human resource planning to HR department. We have to appoint at least yes. We have to make the human resource manager responsible. 
for doing human resource planning. That is one thing. Delegation of authority. Another thing is if the human resource manager is not capable of doing human resource planning, then we have, we have to think of getting a service of a human resource consultant like you. You know, you are a human resource consultant. Yes, then what should we do? Yes, we have to start, you know, that process, human resource planning process. We have to do that. Then, uh, you know, future, you know, in the future demand we have to calculate by dealing with all these nine factors. The number nine, external factors, social factors, technological factors, political factors, all these things. So then we can think also whether you know, this organization is having a strategic planning system. If the company is having a strategic planning system, then of course we have to introduce this human resource planning system as a part of that organizational planning or strategic planning system. Because human resource planning, that's the principle, you know, human resource planning should be an integrated integral part, an essential part of organizational planning or strategic planning. Long-term organizational planning. So we have to, you know, if there is no such a system also, we have to introduce that also. Strategic human resource, sorry, strategic planning and then as a part, human resource planning. So likewise, you know, please develop the answer. Okay, dear students, if you have any questions, you can raise. Okay, look at this one. I have a serious look at this. Techniques for estimating future human resource needs. So additional, you know, additionally, okay, you have learned what? Informal forecast. As a technique, can you remember? Number one, that is here, you know, informal and instant decisions. And then formal expert survey you have learned. The Delphi technique you have learned. Extrapolation you have learned. Indexation you have learned. Statistical analysis type, like, you know, the, what is this, uh, the scatter plot. Uh, that is coming under statistical analysis. And other methods, you know, budget and planning analysis, new venture analysis, computer models, you know, more sophisticated organizations, very large organizations, you know, which have computer experts, they may be able to develop certain computer models, which will consider various, you know, factors, determining the demand and all, then they will be able to estimate, you know, e, e, e human resource planning. You know, by using computers, <coughs> which I have not taught you, which I have not mentioned in my chapter. There's a separate chap uh, course for you, namely <clears throat> human resource information system. And then hopefully you will be able to learn uh, something, at, you know, certain things on the e-human resource plan. There may be, you know, uh, packages, there may be uh, programs which have been developed by certain organizations engaging in human resource uh, information, mm, primarily, you know, the, what is this information system industry, consultant organizations. And one field is human resource information. Okay, like new ventures, you know, new venture, the new venture is a you know, it's a new business, new business, maybe in terms of a merger or an acquisition or an international business, new engine. business human resource analysis current plan for the ministry and never new engine analysis. Budget and planning analysis, the budgeted card number, 
decision or right answer. There's something called cardinal. Earlier, you know, they, they have they have planned the number of you know vacancies, number of vacancies, not vacancies, number of positions for a particular job. Then you meet the rakia or that all the other positions. One of the kind like estimate kind of thing. There is no card or anything. There are card or anything. Where did you get that? Any positions? Where did you get that? Card or card? Do you know? Any positions? Where did you get that? This one. Common thing. Card or anything. Fill it. That's how it is. You know, there is a card is the number of you know approved positions for the jobs. You can consider card for a particular job or for a particular. organization particular department card that gives the approved number of jobs and the positions positions okay uh, <clears throat> so then uh, that card can be increased that card can be reduced budget and planning analysis kila gana on my a tatvita okay dealing with the card you know card that comes on the budget and planning analysis okay right then what is this identify the causes that will drive demand you have learned from me nine causes nine uh, factors with affecting future demand for human resource can you remember what are they number one demand for product number two strategic plans of the organization number 3 production methods number 4 retirement number 5 resignations number 6 deaths number 7 leaves of absence number 8 terminations number 9 external factors such as economic social and political forces okay now i took this from a book written by by four foreign experts there are, so in for this book there are four authors four professors right according to them causes of demand for human resources in the future so they have categorized causes you know into two uh, classes or oh, two uh, yes they have classified or groups into three categories external organizational and work so workforce the, you know economic developments number 9 you know under number 9 i have mentioned then socio political legal challenges under number 9 then technological changes under number 9 competitors under number 9 but you know these of this they have considered these things separately under the category external category okay all right i hope you know you can deal with then organizational category and organization category strategic plans which i mentioned as number you have learned as number 2 then the budgets i have not specifically mentioned sales and production forecast you know you can uh, sales and production forecast you can put under demand for the product number 1 the new ventures under you know two strategic plans then organization and job designs other you can put under three production methods you know changing organizational structure then changing jobs you have design you know and then because of the you know organization job designs there may be reductions to number of employees reduction to number of employees especially assume in the in our organization structure which is a traditional one there has uh, three levels for management Uh, lower level management middle level management and top level management you know to face the competition for the purpose of survival the top you know organization can decide to reduce one level like middle level or maybe uh, you know assume in the middle level there are two sub levels and then one level can be demolished and then that will reduce the number of employees needed middle managers and as an example like any abhi tamo middle management level leke level dekha tiyena ke upper middle management low middle management ke etakota e deka ayin karala combine karala hadena denata innoy kiyemoko 
upper upper managers la high lower managers la high sorry upper upper lower middle management ke paas us dene kin ya wo combine kar paam samari to 10 dena yon itro pas dene kadu ena that means it is a cause affecting the demand for employees okay then workforce you know related to employees retirement resignation termination deaths leaves of absence these things were discussed okay so therefore for additional learning amatara igena ganimak nathi eta dan me vidiyata categories tunakata karanna puluwan kela igena gan so okay no problem expanding your knowledge the may level then five levels of planning activities then planning activities them level 5 the may pote kata gan level 1 2 3 level 4 and 5 the level 1 can kisima plan formal planning ni karne ehema tattwayak samara ayathana thiyenna puluwan no formal planning so i assume you know if we study 10 organizations you know we can find maybe two organizations you know they are in the level one that means they don't engage in formal plan they do informal planning because informal planning purpose for the first purpose can you remember i have given five purposes under the importance of human resource plan for the first purpose what is that to determine future employee needs informally or formally it's a level one right Level two, a key in the level of management, minimum memory resource planning. Come on, forecasting with a regular forecasting with a regular staffing table with a affiliate only preparing staffing table. Focus on head count, which are in no other killer ball head count. Then level three, a more comprehensive long term forecast. Needs are projected, you know, three, uh, six years. Does not integrate people planning with long term planning. And long term planning, organization planning, I level three. Level four and five, again, sophisticated human resource information system. Long range planning you know, for three and six years. Human resource planning is core. SHRP. What does it stand for? Strategic human resource planning. Strategic human resource planning. You don't need to learn in deep. Under advanced HRM, you will be able to learn. Strategic human resource planning. Human resource is not a very big thing, you know. It's not a very big thing, you know. Without a human resource manager, a strategic manager can be. If human resource planning is an integral part of a part of strategic planning, then the human resource manager becomes the top manager. There are such organizations also. There are some organizations where human resource manager is not considered as a top manager. You have learned these things. Right. And so then the robust basic robust. Robust human resource planning. You can have full series. You know, outflows in inflows method that is that method. Then uh, replacement charts, replacement summaries, skill inventories, management inventories. Man in tables, net employee requirement tables, all are done. Then we have documents go down. Can I put it? human resource information system. Can you remember, you know, from job analysis, you get three documents, at least two. Job description and specification for every job. Uh, they also come under human resource information system. Again, I'm a man of some part Kalamanaka need to car even a seal of the road. That Tarama of Kumatinika make any. This is a system, you know, that has all the data information, all these things useful for HRM. 
HR. <coughs> okay, all right. For your additional learning, right. This is an example of a replacement summary. Similar to the one, not exactly similar to the one, but it's okay, similar. It's an example of a partial replacement chart. Then Sabara keys the Mampa, which is the Rodatica of Venus and the Pulu, but anyway, it's okay, don't worry. This is a this and you know this this is a mu, mu, you know municipal government provincial council like town council in Sri Lanka a municipal government the partial replacement chart that's a that's a state organization city manager an assistant city manager and police commissioner is there then the utilities manager is there for electricity, gas, all these. You can see here under this inspector homicide, then inspector administration. Homicide kill again, mini metal, mini metal somewhere. Killing people. Then uh, yeah, this one city electric manager, then water, water manager. Okay, right. Now I know you can't write down these things, but uh, you, know, you can watch the video and then start. Right. <clears throat> okay, then uh, time is over. The books, if I show you this one that the uh, inflows outflows method I took from this book. And other you know, materials I took from this book. It's a Canadian book, Canadian Human Resource Management by Strategic Approach. Okay, it's another, you know, another uh, chart, replacement chart. President, the, the vice president, personnel, vice president, executive vice president, vice president of marketing, then vice president of finance. Then in the event top job vacancy for the job of president, then who will be the successes? So according to this, we have to identify, yes, we have to go to this uh, key, promotion potential, right? This one, color wise, ready now, this color. And who is having that? So in this example already now, needs further training, questionable. Uh, this person is ready, or this person was already. This person was already. Uh, now that, that means there's a big competition. What does it mean? There's a big competition. There are three people who are ready, isn't it? Oh, let me check, you know, this, I can't remember, part of the world, you confused. Part of the world, I will learn, promotion potential, past performance, outstanding satisfaction. Questionable, questionable, I know, all part of questionable, right? Questionable, this person also questionable. No, no, no. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the make it the MMA, make it the NA. The may major bigot Adal, major bigot Adal, major bigot Adal, not, not for the job of president, okay? Not for the job of president. You know, in case of the vacancy for the job of vice president person, eh, then who is the success? In case of job vacancy, in the event of job vacancy for the job of executive vice president, the success, you know, success is this person here. Oh, here there's no, you know. 
here there is a person here there is a person here there is no person that means uh, an out you know an outsider will have to be high for this there is a person the may may party nikatti ega ready for now ee goda part tika ee part api ehem hitam ela sasi unda the meage performance satisfactory ekai the meage then some outstanding outstanding the meage dena satisfactory the metana dena body pass there's a problem here satisfactory normally in order to promote the performance should be present performance should be outstanding if there is a rule in the organization then we can't promote this person so according to promotion rule దేవత్ దనకండి మే విలా దిస్ ఐ టూక్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ బుక్ ఓకే డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఐ థింక్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు ఆస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఐ క్యాన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ సమ్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ ఆల్సో బట్ ద టైమ్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఆర్ హియర్ లెట్ మీ షో దిస్ ఫైన్ దిస్ వన్ ఆల్సో ఐ దిస్ వన్ ఆల్సో ఐ టూక్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ బుక్ but originally this one was prepared by professor melo jeffrey melo in his book titled strategic human resource management you can see here you know strategic hr initiatives these are the really strategies for surplus conditions and shortage conditions then the strategy is for managing shortages you can see here. most of things you know i have taught you recruit new permanent employees offer incentives to postpone retirement in case of shortages you know them vishrama gandhi pa kela the hungak kalada the me melo is an american professor in america there is no for many jobs there is no retirement compulsory retirement age you can mandate retirement age ga klamaini the america wage ratalu rane the vishwavidyala aacharya varu untad ne mandate retirement ga tin pilot e wage samara జాబ్స్ కీప్ అయ్యేటట్టు వితరైతి కానీ యూనివర్సిటీ ప్రాఫెసర్ కానీ కావద్దు అసు హెత్త హెత్తపా ఏమో దొరకండి ఫర్ సమ్ జాబ్స్ దే ఆర్ మెండేటరీ రిక్వైర్మెంట్స్ మెండేటరీ రిటైర్మెంట్ ఏజ్ సో ఇన్ సమ్ డెవలప్ కంట్రీస్ యూజువలీ సెవెంటీ ఆర్ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ ఆర్ సిక్స్టీ రైట్ ఓకే దెన్ we are we are scheme ke lage ani volunteer retire we are na switch to variable pay plan ke ani ek ani padi padi adu karala den sthir plan ekak gewanne tu wedda karwa tu tarak plan ekak gewanna ne va so ekana padi gewan there's no permanent uh, you know uh, salary given instead you know based on performance salary is given a variable pay plan ke ani ek ani based on the production other is there na da vedakare nattam hadiyana that means there is no productivity then there is no pay and you are that's the meaning of variable pay plan 